Hello everyone, I'm meteorologist Johanna Wagstaff with a check on your weather for Tuesday. Another gorgeous start to the day out there, high pressure building and will stay in place for the next seven plus days. That's right. We're into the uh, hot and dry air for at least the next week. So uh, for those of you who like it hot, this is going to be a good one. We'll be watching things like increasing fire risk and decreasing air quality though and uh, drying gardens over the next couple of days. Okay, let me start you off with your temperatures. Uh, they're going to be warm today again, 22 and through YVR, a little warmer out towards the valley. Uh, we could be hitting the 30s inland again today just making it into the 29 mark yesterday, so a little warmer today. Uh, we'll notice temperatures cool off by a degree or two Wednesday and Thursday before warming back up again Friday. I'll show you those in just a moment. As you can see, not much to speak of in the way of weather. A little bit of a low pressure system still spinning off the uh, northern sections of BC. Let me just put that little low right here. So we're still getting some showers and cloud cover towards Haida Gwaii. That's tapering off as well over the next uh, 24 hours. One thing we will watch for is some lower stratus. You can see it hanging on uh, the shores of Washington. We may catch some stratus. You can almost see it in through the uh, strait. Uh, really that's our only concern over the next few days. Morning fog and stratus. Just patchy though uh, with an onshore flow during the day. Quick check on the Western Pacific. Uh, we've been following Typhoon Nuguri uh, for the past 24 hours, uh, lashing the southern uh, Japanese islands uh, with 200 plus kilometer per hour winds. So this storm is now tracking northward and uh, looking to make landfall as a category one storm uh, in the next couple of days. So keep an eye on uh, the biggest cyclone of the season so far around the world. Uh, back over to our fire danger, as I mentioned, something we'll be watching. This is the fire risk for yesterday. We'll wait for an after afternoon update. Uh, but you can see building to very high and extreme for the caribou region, whereas uh, coastal sections and the interior are still moderate to high uh, because of that weekend rain, but it doesn't take much for us to build back up there. A quick, quick look at our temperatures. This is model output and it's for YVR, so I haven't adjusted it yet, but just giving you a bit of an idea. You can see a little cool Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, not cool. It's still hot and uncomfortable if you don't really like uh, the warm temperatures and the sunshine, but we're actually getting warmer as we head into Friday and Saturday. A new high pressure system shifting in and that's going to bring in some milder air uh, before sort of staying warm right through uh, early next week. So when we're talking these kinds of temperatures for YVR, uh, keep in mind that's 30s inland and and if you're headed over towards the Okanagan, that's more like, you know, 36s. So very hot and sunny week ahead. I think a lot of people will be rejoicing, but hopefully by the end of it, uh, we will see some rain in the forecast. I don't see any out for the next seven plus days. So uh, yeah, keeping a few things in mind, fire risk, air quality, morning fog, and of course, drying gardens. All more details tonight.